Hello everyone, back to you in today's video, we're going to have a look at when it's week to 10 days. In today's video, this will take us pretty much to the end of the month. So we'll go, I think, to the 31st of August with this uh, update, which is the final day of August. Also will be the final day of Meteorological Summer, which of course is defined as uh, the 1st of June to the 31st of August. So we are running down the clock very quickly now to the end of summer. And then we'll be on into autumn. Of course, we did the autumn analogues yesterday. And uh, on Sunday, we'll actually have the gasworthies.com autumn 2017 forecast. That will be coming up at the weekend as well with many other updates as well. It could be a really big uh, weekend of updates coming up. Uh, and say on Bank Holiday Monday, the historic video this year, uh, announced a couple of days ago, the historic video this year uh, on Bank Holiday Monday will be for um, the year of 1952. We'll start around August when we have the Lynmouth disaster and then we'll run through what was a very cold autumn into the smog of um, 1952. And if you have time, the severe flooding of January 1953. So that's going to be a bit of an epic update for this year's late summer bank holiday uh, Monday. Right, let's get on with the weather next week to 10 days. We're going to start off with 500 with our height normally flow charts for the next uh, 72 days. I'm running a bit late today, sorry about that. So I'm going to try and rattle through things quite quickly. We've got the uh, E70F here on the top and the GFS, which have a look at in a moment, is on the bottom, 500 millibars is an area in the absolute high pressure, low pressure, uh, being moved around by the jet stream. And on these charts, blue will be extrapolating to low pressure and orange and red to high pressure. So you can see that the E7UF is looking quite unsettled as we're running down to the end of August. Again, these are the mean flow charts for the 7 to 10 day time frame and they do look unsettled. So we have a jet stream coming south, as indicated by uh, the black lines there, the tight lines coming southwards through the Atlantic into UK and into Europe. And then this blue area just here, that's a trough within the 500 bit of our flow. Uh, so that looks pretty unsettled. There would be bands of rain and quite coolish temperatures as well to close out the month because the air with this is coming from the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean, somewhere near Greenland. Uh, and the GFS is very similar. So actually, we do have a bit of agreement here between these uh, two models. Here's the GFS. And again, we've got quite a deep trough here centered generally to the north of the country. The uh, jet stream and the flow is going something like that. So again, it looks like we're on the cool side of a jet. It's quite a strong jet as well for uh, sort of late August. Um, so we've got quite a strong jet. We've got uh, the jet on a southerly track, so on the cool side of the jet. And we're close to a trough of low pressure. That looks like we'll be ending August on quite a cool and uh, very showery, if not quite uh, wet note. These are the GFS temperature and precipitation ensembles next couple of weeks. The red line here is the third year upper air temperature average. Now, we're quite warm at the moment. We're going to be uh, going a bit warmer, actually, through to uh, Tuesday and up to the middle part of the week. All associated with the humid air uh, that originated in the tropical Atlantic with uh, Hurricane Gerd. Of course, we haven't got a hurricane now, but we have got an air which low pressure sat just to our west. And it has got a lot of humid air associated with it. So in the next 48 hours, it is going to be quite warm. We might get temperatures up to around 80 Fahrenheit in uh, southern parts of the country tomorrow if the sun comes out. That's a big question mark because this is not only is it a very warm and humid air mass, it's also a very cloudy air mass as well. Uh, second half of the week sees a cool down. We go back to average. And then there's no sign really of anything particularly warm coming up after that keeping temperatures around uh, or maybe a little bit below average through to the end of the month. Uh, from the start of September onwards, this period just here, there are a few uh, warmer members of the GFS ensembles appearing, although there is quite a split there, so I think it's best to leave the first week of September alone for the time being. In terms of precipitation, quite a bit of dry weather coming up through the rest of this week down in the south. There will be a lot more rain over the next couple of days in the north, associated again with this humid tropical air uh, that originated with Hurricane Gert. Uh, as we go through to the weekend, it looks like it's turning more generally unsettled then, unfortunately, over Bank Holiday weekend and into next week, the uh, precipitation spikes are returning. Possibly, what do we think? Possibly something a little bit drier there again through the first week of September. But again, I think it is best that we leave 
early September alone at this point. Temperature anomalies for the next week are coming out warmer than average. Bear in mind that's been skewered quite a bit by the next 48 hours. And after that, probably it will be a little bit cooler. But the anomaly anyway from the 21st, 29th of August is coming out uh, warmer than average. Uh, North-South split with precipitation for uh, 21st, 29th of August. So Scotland and Northern Ireland coming out significantly wetter than average. England and Wales coming out significantly uh, drier than average in the week ahead. This is how the GFS is picking things up for Friday. Then we've got low pressure to the northwest of Scotland, and we're bringing in this uh, relatively cool uh, westerly wind. Into the weekend, so Saturday brings an area of low pressure over the country. That may bring showers to the north, but probably a dryish start down in the south. Sunday goes to a flatter westerly flow. Again, that could be bringing rain into the north, probably not too much down in the south. But then by bank holiday Monday, this is looking more unsettled for all of us. Probably some sort of cold front moving southeastwards there on bank holiday Monday, bringing a band of rain across the country, followed by significantly cooler air and also heavy blustery showers. So ice bars are quite tightly packed, uh, so it would be fairly windy. And uh, 985 millibars with its area of low pressure to the north of Scotland. That is actually a bit autumnal. Uh, to say the least. Beyond that, running up to the end of uh, August, so we keep it fairly breezy and showery. There's more weather fronts coming through here on these west to northwesterly winds, so it will be pretty cool and uh, showery as well, maybe even some longer spells of rain. That's how we finish up on day 10, which is uh, Thursday, the 31st of August, trying to build a little bit of a ridge to the south, but uh, we've got this next area of low pressure out in the Atlantic, and if we roll on another day or so, that just about seems to be quite a major autumnal low, again to northwest of Scotland, and brings a fairly wet and windy start to September on this particular run of the uh, GFS today. Uh, so that's GFS, this is the ECWF, and again, we look showery on Friday for the north, probably not too much, down in the south. The earlier part of the weekend doesn't look too bad, possibly a bit showery in the north, but in the south, maybe the first half of the weekend is drier. But this is Bank Holiday Monday, midnight on Bank Holiday Monday, where it looks like we're going into a more generally unsettled pattern then. Keep an eye on this area of low pressure. That looks a bit ominous for Bank Holiday Monday because by midnight on Tuesday, that's rattling in across the country. It's probably, again, quite an active front coming in with that, producing a fair amount of rain. Wouldn't necessarily say that Bank Holiday Monday is going to be very wet at this stage, but it is looking a little bit ominous, I have to say. We're going to have to pin down the exact timings of these weather fronts. Uh, hopefully, if they come in overnight, then we might get a reasonable day for Bank Holiday Monday. But it is looking overall an unsettled pattern. Then as we run up to the end of August, this takes us to Thursday the 31st of August. Final day of the month, final day of summer. And we're still in this westerly flow and uh, it just looks quite unsettled. There's more low pressure downstream, middle part of the Atlantic just there. That looks like it's heading our way. So it's all a little bit of a mixed bag and it looks like uh, we're going to be ending uh, August and ending the summer on quite an unsettled note. Uh, and it's just a case of pinning down the timings of these rain bands. But potentially there could be a little bit of rain around for the bank holiday weekend and then running down to the end of the month. And tomorrow's update, which again, we're we'll extending to week's 10-day time frame, that will take us to the first day of September, when, of course, we'll be off into the autumn of 2017. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.